For the bodyweight squat, work on squatting as deeply as you can and then pausing in the bottom position before standing back up. Focus on keeping your back straight and heels on the ground. Some common issues are letting the knees come together as well as favoring one leg when squatting. Try to keep yourself from doing either of these. Something else that I see quite often is rounding the back when squatting. Instead, sit up tall and only go down as far as you can while keeping good form. Start off by making sure that you're standing tall and then bring your arms up to shoulder level. Squat down, finding a height that is good for you and pause in the bottom position before standing. The push-up is similar to the squat in that you'll pause slightly in the bottom position before returning to the starting position. Keep your elbows in and squeeze your entire body the duration of the push-up. One big mistake that I see quite often is when a person flares their elbows. This puts too much strain on the shoulders, so I recommend keeping the elbows close to the body. Dropping the hips is also something that you want to keep from doing. Instead, place your knees on the ground or simplify the movement so that you're able to keep good form. With fingers facing forward, rotate your elbow pits so that they are also facing forward. While squeezing your body, bend your elbows so that they brush the sides of your body as you lower yourself. Make sure to pause at the bottom before returning to the top position. Perform the pull-up with hands a little wider than shoulder width. Load the arms and with legs together, bend your knees and pull your feet upward and back. With arms straight, perform a pulling prep before bending the arms for the pull-up. Point your elbows outward and pull your nose to the bar. After a slight pause at the top, slowly lower yourself to a full dead hang. Be sure to pull evenly and do not swing or kip yourself up to the bar. Start tall with arms outstretched and legs shoulder width apart for the step back lunge. Aim to have your legs bent at a 90 degree angle with the weight evenly distributed in the legs. When stepping back, don't rotate your body causing yourself to turn outward. As well, take care not to place your foot directly behind the lead foot when stepping backward. Focus on stepping back and with your back straight, squat down to a 90 degree angle for both legs, pausing in the bottom position, making sure to stand straight back up before bringing the back leg forward. Start the dip above the rings with the rings close to your body. Feel free to turn the rings outward in this top position with the rings and elbows pulled in tightly. Slowly lower yourself, making sure to pause in the bottom position before pushing back up into the starting position. If your rings are low, as in this demonstration, feel free to bend your legs as you lower yourself. However, be sure to keep your legs together. As you push back upward, take care not to push unevenly. This will make the movement much harder as well as create bad habits that could lead to injury. As well, don't force yourself back up or kip up into the top position. Instead, focus on keeping proper form and moving slowly through the movement. Once you've completed the movement, lower yourself into the bottom position, placing feet on floor before letting go of the rings. 